And now, Storm Tracker Weather with meteorologist Cesar Cornejo. So far, right now, we're seeing that Storm Tracker satellite and radar is already really just showing that we have a northwest flow coming from the Canadian border and above as our storm system has pushed off to the east. We no longer are seeing really anything in the way of precipitation or really winds. It's calmed down, but it is a little bit on the colder side. So taking a look at temperatures right now, we're still seeing temperatures around the 20s for the Snake River Plain, also teens and some single digits and even below zero temperatures in western Wyoming, also single digits and teens to start off the morning over by the Central Mountains. Winds so far, well, they are a little bit on the calmer side compared to yesterday. We're seeing that winds are towards the single digits really so a little bit breezy to start off the morning for the snake of replaying a little bit on the stronger side over towards Jackson, Wyoming, as we have 10 mile an hour winds there. And right behind me, we can still see quite a bit of winds being picked up over by the high plains and going towards Canada, as that storm system is still producing quite a lot of winds and specifically high winds going towards the east. And taking a look at what we saw yesterday, of course, winds were on the strong side, but you know what? I'll have somebody help me introduce this real quickly. We got Will Smith helping show us that we have a, a few stronger winds going towards the city. 60s for a few areas, but predominantly most of the wind gusts were around the 40s and the 50s. And what are we expecting to see for the rest of today? Well, it will be a little bit of a mostly sunny day. We're going to have temperatures ranging around the 30s for us. So we'll see 36 degrees over in Pocatello, 27 in Idaho Falls, also in Jackson and seeing over towards the Central Mountains, some 20s and 30s. And really because of the sunshine, it will be one of those deceptive days where it looks warm outside. But as soon as we step out the door, we're like, hey, we need layers. We're going to also see that cloud cover will begin to thin out in a few areas. Stay a, a little bit on the mostly clear side, if not partly cloudy side, but we'll see that temperatures will also drop once again for a cooler evening and overnight for us and to see throughout the rest of Friday for our next little shot of snow, mostly for the higher elevations. We'll see that it starts around the afternoon time frame, but again, once it starts to hit the higher elevation and the slopes, that's where it produces some of the snow. So the valleys will not really see anything besides cloud cover for us. So it will remain a drier day and we'll see in our Southeast Idaho Chevy dealer seven day forecast for Pocatello that we do have dry conditions for the next few days. Our best chance of seeing again another little light dusting of snow will be Sunday into the Monday time frame, so the overnight hours, but we do expect to have a little bit of a warm up going into the weekend. Idaho Falls seven day forecast very similar. Once again, we do expect to see an increase in cloud cover. We do have that possibility of seeing some snow going over into the overnight for Sunday into Monday morning, but temperatures will remain below will remain around the freezing mark, if not below Teton area. We're also expecting to see upper 20s for a bit. We will see some snow going along Sunday evening towards the afternoon hours also, and then even into Sunday, Monday morning, but temperatures will remain around the 20s for us. The Central Mountains, we're expecting to see Dry conditions, we won't expect to see really any flurries, maybe on Friday afternoon, but again, towards the mountaintops, and then we dry out for the weekend. 